what's up y'all welcome back to another video i'm danielle elaine aka elaine the creator on instagram so i wanted to make this video real quick i know it's late y'all y'all probably can't really see me but y'all can hear me so that's all that matters so i just wanted to make this video real quick because i made a longer i mean a shorter version of this video on my instagram reels if you want to check that out you can um it's up to you it doesn't really matter because y'all get the longer version regardless so i'm not gonna say it doesn't matter but it's up to you <laughs> so anyway um i just want to make this video real quick just talking about how we need to stop being so scary you know what i'm saying for an example earlier today I, before i came out i was telling myself i need to start giving more money away you know to homeless people etc because i get food away all the time like i always have like if, well not always but if i have extra food like if i have an orange in here whatever it doesn't matter i'll give it away to you know a homeless person that i see um because that's just what i want to do and then i was just telling myself i need to start giving more money away and stop holding on to money so tight you know what i'm saying because for an example i'll spend money on myself especially recently before I was used to be super duper frugal, I would not, you know, spend money on myself, whatever, whatever. I would always think twice and then I'll never end up buying it. But now, if I want something, I get it, right? Because that's the life that I want to live. And I want to do whatever. I, well, I've told you guys this plenty of times before, but if you don't already know, I want to live in a way of if I want something, if I want to buy something, if I want to do something, I will do it. I will do it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Or I will do it in general, but if I can't do it right then and there, it won't be because of money. It will be because of time or because of X, Y, and Z, but not because of money. But anyway, y'all have heard this before if you've heard it before. So anyway, and then I was just, and I've been reading this book, as you, I've told you guys before, I, was, I made an audio book to it, <laughs> my last video, actually, which was pretty fun. But anyway, so um, it was basically about, it was me reading the book, The Game of Life and How to Play It, which is an excellent book definitely listen to it definitely listen to it definitely purchase that book it is fantastic it will change your life if you definitely implement these things into your life but anyway so what i've been telling myself oh, okay so anyway back to the point of the video i was writing because i knew i was going to see somebody you know a homeless woman or homeless person in general today as i was writing so i was like i like I said, I was like, I'm going to start giving more money away or whatever and stop holding on to it so tight or stop, you know, second guessing it because I overthink it, really. You know what I'm saying? Overthinking and I talk myself out of it, you know, out of giving people money and stuff like that because I just want, I don't know, I overthink it and I try to put, you know, I want them to use it wisely and I want, you know, whatever. So anyway, overthinking it, putting myself in their shoes or whatever when it's none of my business. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, y'all. So when I was riding or whatever, I didn't see anybody, you know, whatever. I was just riding. I was holding on to my money. And so then I eventually pulled um, I pulled up and there was a woman beside the car. And so then, you know, I rode down the window and I was like, hi, miss, blah, blah, blah. You know, anyway. So I gave it to her. But I told myself before then, I'm sorry, let me backtrack. Before, when I was telling myself when I was in the house, I was telling, no, I was telling myself I need to, I was going to ask you know, what did they need specifically? What did you need specifically or whatever? So I can bring it to you. I can give it to you because I have a couple things in my house, like hygiene products that I don't necessarily want, you know, because of X, Y, and Z. So I was like, I'm going to give those things away to homeless people instead of, you know, giving it to people in my apartment building or giving it to Goodwill. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the people that I can literally help right then and there and yeah anyway y'all get it so but then when i pulled up onto the woman i gave her my money but then i hesitated on asking her what did she specifically need and i'd never said it and i was and i'm like but I, and i was my first instinct was gonna be hard on myself was you know what i'm saying but like girl why did you do that you know what i mean kind of like cussing myself out busting myself out but then i was like wait you know don't be hard on yourself but tell yourself stop being so scary just do it you know just act now don't wait or don't hesitate just do it that's what you wanted to do this is your opportunity so take your opportunity honey you know what i'm saying so yes y'all i just wanted to make that video because that was something that i was really like on my mind of like why am i specifically why am i hesitating why am i acting so scary to do things that i already planned on doing you know what i'm saying and then once the plan starts to fall into place when it's time to act to act I hesitate and I back out. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. So, 
from now on i'm telling myself act don't hesitate just act if that was your plan on the first place why are you hesitating now what's the hold up so anyway y'all take that for what it is whatever y'all however y'all want to take it but just act stop being so scary do it now say it now be it now what's the wait because i'm i'm it in every other way in my life why not do it in all of the ways you know what i'm saying why not be it on all of the ways in my life you know what i'm saying but anyway y'all i appreciate y'all for watching this video i love you guys so much y'all stay up y'all stay happy y'all stay positive keep moving forward keep doing what you want to do you know be who you want to be now don't wait in every aspect of your life because we are on this journey together honey we're doing this together believe it you know what I'm saying? Nobody is perfect. Everybody is making mistakes out here. Everybody. Everybody is stumbling, but don't fall. Okay? Get back up. Set straighten yourself up. Get cute. Smell good. Do your hair. Do your makeup. Do whatever you want to do. And believe me. And also, let me make this statement real quick. Because I know that this is something that I was struggling with a few months ago. I used to think that how you looked determined how determined your spiritual journey determined how much god would pay attention to you determined and i know that might sound a very sound like a very ignorant statement to make and but i know and i hope someone will resonate with that because i realized how you look does not matter it does not matter i'm not saying that god doesn't care but hey you know what i'm saying let's call it what it is that is so irrelevant to your spiritual journey on how you look. That has nothing. To, if you think about it, it's your spirit. It's your spiritual journey. It's not your your fashion or your clothing, your hair, your pre presentation on your bodily image. That does not matter. That is so irrelevant. It is who you are on the inside. It is who you are on the inside. It does not matter. You could be wearing whatever you want. And you know what I'm saying? You could wear whatever you want. You could have your hair, whatever you want. But who are you on the inside? Who are you on an everyday basis? Who are you to other people? Who are you to yourself? You know what I'm saying? So, yes, y'all. And that's something that I'm, I'm realizing. Like, girl, you can get, you can wear whatever clothes you want to wear. You could do your hair however you want to wear them. You don't have to have locks. You don't have to have, you know what I'm saying, your natural hair out. You don't have to sport your natural hair if that's not what you want to do. Because at the end of the day, do what makes you feel good. I'm sorry, y'all cannot see me. But do what makes you feel good. Regardless. Don't worry about what other people have to say. Don't worry about, you know what I'm saying, other people's opinion of you. Because at the end of the day, it's up to you if you want to absorb it. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't want to absorb it, then it doesn't even matter. It's irrelevant. So if you want to do your hair any type of way, if you want to get braids, if you want to get weave, if you want to cut your hair off, that's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about anybody else. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. Do what you what makes you feel good. And continue doing those things. Keep doing those things. Excuse me. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Let me let y'all go before I keep going on and on and on. Even though I really appreciate y'all for listening to me. I love you guys so much. I appreciate this platform to be able to speak to you all. I love being able to have these conversations. Even though it's kind of me talking to myself. But we get it. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys so much. Because I know somebody out there is watching this. And y'all are talking it back to me. Talking back to me. And I appreciate that. I love you guys. I wish we could like all FaceTime. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me let y'all go. So I love you guys so much. Y'all stay up. Y'all stay happy. Y'all stay positive. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you want to do. Be who you want to be now, honey. Do it now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Okay? What is there? What's there to wait for? You know what I'm saying? Seriously, because tomorrow's not promised. So be who you want to be now. Do what you want to do now. Achieve those goals now. Don't wait. Don't plan it. Don't plan. And anyway, let me let y'all go because I'm going to keep on talking. But let me just make this statement real quick and I'm going to let y'all go. Don't make, well, I'm not going to say do or don't, but this is what I do. This is why I've tried to take a step back on. I was planning too much. I was planning every step of the way of 
everything. If I wanted a goal, I would plan, what's the word, intricately? On every single step I would make. But now, I just go with the flow. I go where the wind takes me. I have a destination or an idea of my destination. But how I get there, I leave it totally up to God. And I'm working on continuing that. Staying true to that. Letting God take me the way. But anyway, y'all, I love you guys so much. Peace and love to you and everyone that you love. Everyone that is around you. I send you guys blessings and love and peace and joy. I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening. Bye. Oh, let me take let me take that back. Now bye. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Peace.